Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another session. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about the types of uh, document splitting. In the previous section, we have uh, seen all the baseline, all the configuration from the document splitting point of view. Uh, before starting this session, I will once again, I will go back and show you all the configuration from the document splitting. Then we'll proceed for the, the document posting. We have a multiple document uh, splitting type. So we'll see one by one. Okay, so let me start with this configuration first. Uh, I'm accessing the transaction code SPRO. SAP reference IMG, then financial accounting and general ledger accounting, and then business transactions. And here it is uh, document splitting. Let's expand. So these are the steps uh, which we need to configure as part of this document splitting configuration. So I will be showing the first one is a classify GL accounts for document splitting. So here we need to enter our chart of accounts and the base of the base of uh, client requirement we have to define uh, from account and to account and against to that we have to maintain the account category here and then and then here define zero balance clearing account so we have to create one uh, zero balance clearing gl account which is at uh, name of a zero balancing clearing account and we have to maintain it here and the use of this uh, i will later i will show you in the in practically i will show you and then this is the main step uh, define document splitting characteristics for general ledger accounting so here we have uh, we are using only profit center and segment and both are mandatory fields here uh, without these two fields uh, no document uh, single document we cannot post in SAP now okay after this uh, we have uh, activate document splitting so so in these steps we will be activating the document splitting so here we have activated the document splitting and uh, make sure that our company code is our company code level also it's activated so here uh, these are two my company codes and uh, it's activated in my company code level as well so now we will see first of all uh, this document splitting is a special functionality of new gl uh, which uh, which is split the line item as per the defined characteristics the characteristics should be uh, profit center or segment or business area whatever it may be it's maybe it will be purely depends upon the business requirement so based on these characteristics uh, system will uh, split the line items so we'll see so in document splitting we have three types of document splitting the first uh, is first thing is passive splitting so yeah first thing is active splitting so in the active splitting uh, i will show you the doc posting also so i have b60 i'm using the transaction code okay this is my supplier and So here I have entered the 2000 here and here I am taking two expense GL and uh, 1000, 1000 and for this uh, expense GL I need to give the cost object whether it is a profit center or cost center. So here I am mentioning the cost center as uh, for first line item I am mentioning the HR department cost center and the second, line, second uh, expenses I am mentioning the finance cost center just hit enter. So here uh, in the active splitting, uh, we have we we uh, as the end user or the person who is creating the document, he needs to enter the uh, cost center or profit center whether the cost center or profit center. Okay, from there system will uh, this is active splitting. So I have entered the cost center, then system may automatically derive the profit center based on that. Uh, what are the profit center has been assigned in the cost center master data? So uh, okay, and then click on post document has been posted successfully now display the document and uh, click on general ledger view so if you can observe in the uh, we have posted in uh, two lines only we have posted a uh, expenses account two lines and a vendor is one line as a 2000 we have posted now system has what system has done 
based on the profit center level it has divided the posting as well so in the header information if you can see in the ap60 the amount i have mentioned is 2000 there and the expense gl account level i have mentioned uh, separate separate gl two gl and uh, so separate two gls i have mentioned thousand thousand and a uh, separate separate profit center so system what system has done the uh, at vendor level also it has been divided the amount based on the co uh, characteristics so this is uh active splitting when it coming to the passive splitting the second uh, uh type is passive splitting in the passive splitting system what system will do system whenever we are going to make the payment at the time a system will look for the original invoice this is the original document uh, against this document we are going to make the payment right from there system will uh, pick the characteristics uh, my characteristics would be profit center right so from the previous document system will pick the profit center that is uh, passive splitting we will see the passive splitting now I will make the payment against to this document now. I am using a dash 53 transaction code. Okay. And I am taking the same document and I am taking some random GL account uh, because uh, some cash in hand account because if I use a bank account, uh, it will look for the house bank and house bank details. Uh, this all the uh, stuff uh, still I have not configured. So, okay. Now. 2000 and my vendor would be okay and review this is my vendor so in the passive splitting i'm not entering any profit center here you can see i'm not entering the profit center system should have to uh, pick the profit center or cost center from the previous the original document okay that is prof this is a uh, passive splitting here i am not entering any profit center or cost center so just hit enter so here only we have one document uh, which is we have posted now uh, ending with the uh, nine sorry ending with the three so here you can see ending with the three vendor uh, invoice document with the 2000 and now click on post so here we can see document has been posted now on document and click on display here now here you can see uh, the accounting entry is uh, uh, cash in hand and vendor account debit so if you can go to the general ledger view so here you can see again system have uh, taken the profit center or cost center from the previous document and it splitted uh, the line item as per the profit center wise it has been splitted you can see here we have entered only one line item uh, against to this uh, 2000 we have entered but system has uh, uh, taken the characteristics from the previous document and it's splitted uh, according to this profit center so this is a passive splitting and the third uh, third one is zero based balance uh, zero basing splitting so in this step uh, we must have created a zero balancing clearing account and in this step uh, what system will do uh, at the document level at one document level uh, debit profit center and credit profit center it's the amounts are not matching its vote then system will trigger the zero balancing clearing account to balance the amount at uh, debit profit center level and credit profit center level uh, we will see in practically now so I will post one document with the help of this transaction code MP50. So okay, I am taking here my two expense GL accounts and uh, one balance sheet GL account. So here I mentioned this to credit and this one is debit. Fifteen hundred and this one is thirteen hundred. So total is uh, two thousand five hundred. Sorry, two thousand eight hundred. And now for this two expense GL account, I will enter the cost object. Admin, then hit enter. 
does not exist okay let me choose another cost center okay okay now when i have entered at this level we have now i have not entered anything any cost object okay now click on post document has been posted successfully now go and check the display the document you can see here in the entry level whatever uh, the line items we have uh, entered by the time of posting it will be showing okay so here there is no profit center here you can see i have not entered any profit center here uh, these two expense accounts i have entered only cost center from the cost center system has picked the profit center it's, it's showing displaying here when i go to the general ledger view you can see this many gl line items so gl balance zero balancing clearing account has been triggered now to understand this one let me filter this one sort it out okay so 1300 uh, 1300 to admin office rent expenses 1300 so to balance this profit center debit profit center and create profit center system has generated the gl uh, zero balancing clearing account at this level so here you can see uh, 13 thousand 1300 credit 1300 debit at this profit center level admin 01 admin 01 here also and then if you can see here cash in hand 2800 so to balance this this system has taken the zero balancing clearing account here you can see zero balancing clearing account two entries have generated 1500 and 1300 to balance the uh, values in at uh, this profit center level and the salaries account we have 1500 against to this profit center and to balance this uh, debit and credit values at the profit center level system has generated this zero balancing clearing account so this is the functionality of uh, document splitting uh, we have discussed the active splitting passive splitting and zero based balancing clearly splitting as well so i hope uh, you guys have now one clear understanding about the document splitting okay that's all in this section thank you so much